Okay, so this is going to be a lesson on Three of a Perfect Pair by King Crimson. This is going to be the Adrian Ballou part, the Robert Fripp part. I'll probably do after this. It's a bit more difficult. He didn't have to sing at the same time. So can you imagine singing this thing and, and playing this at the same time? Okay, so our first part, anyway, this is going to be in 6-8 and in 7-8. So the first riff has six notes. And then that repeats quite a bit. So it's going to be the 10th fret of the D string on the, with the pinky. To the, that's a C note, to the other C, the 8th fret of the E string, to an E flat, 6th fret of the A string. So then the next three notes are the 8th fret of the G string, the 8th fret of the A string, and the 6th fret of the E string. So you have... You want to try that? Nice and slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Okay, then the next part is going to be 13th fret on the B string with the 10th fret on the G string and the D string. Just go down the strings like that, little three note thing. Then you got pinky on the 13th fret. You're going to do this set four times. So let's try that nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're back to the other part. Then we're gonna to jump to the 12th fret, just two frets above what we did over here and do the same thing. So it's gonna be 13 with 12s. Go down to the lower one. Then we're back. And then we like start over. Okay, and a little disclaimer before we go to the second part. So these guys probably did this with a pick, and there's a lot of string skipping. It's a real difficult picking thing, so that's why I'm doing it with my fingers. I find it a little bit easy to do that way. Um, but the real way would probably be with a pick. And like I say, um, Adrian Ballou's part is this part. This is simpler than the other part, the Robert Fripp part. Now the next part moves to 7-8. So... So what we have is the A minor chord. We have the A bass, and we have 7-5-5. So first we hit that chord. Then we hit the open and seven and five to the open seven and seven. So we got. And we went back to the A minor there, the normal one. So those last two things, we have those two chords again, the five to the seven. That gives us our whole seven thing. So the counting of it is like one and 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 six, seven, one, and 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 six, seven. So it hits on the one, it doesn't play anything on the two, and then the other notes are on the upbeats of the three, the four, and the five. And then you got the six, seven. Six, seven, one, and, and, and six, seven, that kind of thing. Then we're gonna switch the chord to uh, like a D minor seven kind of, it's gonna end up being a D minor after this, but it has an A bass. So it's kind of like a, you could call it F with the A bass, or you could call it, cause you're not going to D minor, it could be like a D minor with the A bass. D minor seven actually, cause you got that, you don't have that D in there, you got that C. So let's look at this again. So you do the exact same stuff, you just had moved that little F note in there on the sixth fret of the B string. So all we did is move the to the D bass there, instead of having the A open string. So we got...
same thing up on the seventh fret for E minor seven. Back to D minor seven. Then we have an ending. So it was the same thing we did up here. It's just on the seventh and fifth and third frets. So you got seven, five, three, five, five, three. So you do that four times and we're back up into this one in C. Back to that other part. Six, seven. Six, seven. Six, seven. So the staccato things in there are really important. And they probably overdub like the that kind of thing in there with another guitar, you know, extra one. But let's do this part again. bass E minor back and it really is supposed to start without the pinky in there it's supposed to start with that minor 7 Okay, then we have the bridge. Okay, so this new part is going to be an F sharp power chord, 2 4 4. And it's the same, it's the 7 8 again, so it's like the 1 and 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 6 7 1 and 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 6 7. Now, this next chord, we're going to extend this down to the second fret A on the G string, and we're going to have a D note on the third fret of the B string. Now this one we gotta stop playing the F sharp in order to get all the other notes. So the bass is gonna be carrying that, the bass guitar. So this is a tricky chord here we got. We're gonna leave the F sharp bass alone, let the bass player carry that. We're gonna move up here and get the seven on the A string, and then four and four, and then seven on the B string, and open E also. So this is really a contortionist dream right here. Then we're back to this one. So it's a series of like three chords. So you got this one, then you got the one with the extra notes there. And then you got this one. And if anybody has a better chord shape or has like seen a video or whatever where they're playing this chord and it's not that, please let me know in the comments what it really is. Because this one seems kind of crazy, but those guys did some crazy stuff. So, so basically it's the, the power chord, then this one, then this crazy one. Back to the power chord, this one, the crazy one, and then the power chord again. And then we're back into this other one. So 
Sometimes I forget and put that pinky in there, but like I say, it's supposed to be that minor seven. <laughs> After the bridge, it's going to be two sets of this thing in a row. So this is going to be the second one. And let's play along with this one real slow. This is a seven count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. end riff and it goes for a really long time at the end of the song and it fades out okay so like I said that was Adrian Ballou's part of three of a perfect pair let's go over the parts one more time and then he starts singing and then it goes up to the higher part back higher part down and you do two full sets of all that to get two verses gone and then we're gonna go to this lower part So the first time after that happens, you got this lower riff four times. And then you jump right back up and you do a whole nother set of those high riffs and everything. Come back, do this uh, little bridge thing again. Then we got our real bridge. I guess this would be like maybe a chorus type thing. And this is your bridge. Like I said, it's two sets of those three chords, and then you go back to the power chord. And then you come back to this riff, and you can do that whole thing twice this time, and then you're back to the end of the song. After this, I'm gonna have Robert Fripp's part. Like I say, is quite a bit more complicated. Here's a little preview. part is and then this one is So for you adventurous people, you could try to go ahead and figure that out from just looking at what I did. So Robert Fripp's part that goes with that thing is gonna be up here. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'll have a tab to go with this. Adrian Ballou and Tony Levin are with Danny Carey from Tool and Steve Vai from Frank Zappa and of course his own career. And they're out playing under the name of Beat and they are absolutely killing it. So go out and see the Beat concert when you can when it comes to your town. King Crimson, if you haven't heard too much of them, go check them out. This is like my favorite song of them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Damon. Have a great day. See you later.